Hi guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I have a product review of the new, I don't know if this is the new, new, but this is definitely new to me. This is the Nude Palette by Huda Beauty, Huda, Huda, Huda Beauty. And I absolutely love this palette. I use it to create this already. So do you wanna see my thoughts and how I created this? Then stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So again, I have already used this palette. That is what is on my eyes right now. I did my eyes hours ago, went out shopping in this horrible heat of Florida that we have today. It's nasty, nasty heat, hotness today. But this is how it still looks after hours of being in the sun and in the heat and but I still think it looks really, really, really good. And I am so so glad to have this. This is going to be my now, my new favorite. This is gonna be my new favorite. I can already tell it right now. So this is the look that I created now, hours and hours later. I will show you how I did this look at the end if you wanna see, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. We're going to swatch them and yeah, you'll see why. I am totally loving this. Here is the outside packaging. And then the back. When you open it up, which this is really cool. I've never seen this before. This is like that little paper that they put over here and it has her gorgeous picture on there. So there is the top part. And here are the colors, you guys. Oh my goodness. Look at these colors. These are so, so stunning. Like. I am stunned. I am so stunned by these colors, you guys. Um, I didn't even want to touch it. They're just so pretty. I did not even want to touch it at first, but I had to. I, I had to. I had to use it. So I bought it. But this is just so gorgeous, you guys. And then the top does have the big mirror, as you can see, my dome. Um, so let's go ahead and swatch these. Let me show you what these look like. Oh, I just love this palette, you guys. This is so fun. Okay, so here are all of the colors that are not a shimmer or a glitter. These are all of the mattes right there. And it starts with the first one here, going all the way to the end here. Now, I'm going to now go in with the shimmers and put on the top of my, oh my goodness, this is, this is gorgeous, you guys. Okay, let me go in with these. Okay, so what I did is, this one, this one, this one, and this one are, not the first one, are this, 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 and this. This one right here is this shimmer right there. So that is the very first one. Then these glitters right here, I watched her do a review on this palette and she said if you use this concealer first, it works better, or you might have to use like a glitter glue but I use this concealer first just to put down these two glitters right here, and that is those two right back there, right here and right here. So those are the actual glitter glitters. Look at these shimmers, you guys. And this, which is the first one? This one right here is what I have on my lower lid. That's what I put on my lower lid. I think I really wanna use these pinks next, but look at those. And then there's the rest of the palette. So my review <laughs> is I love this palette. I am so glad. I mean, I am beyond glad that I got this. When I first opened this, I was sitting here staring at this like, like I, 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 <laughs> I really need to dig in this and actually use this product but I so wanted to because I've seen, I've heard and seen so many wonderful things about this palette that when I was looking for a new palette, I'm like, you know, it was a toss up between this one, honestly, this one and the new Tarte one, the like, right, 
I don't know, it has like some little fish or turtle on the front with some blues and it has the blues in there, which I love my blues, but I did see a few reviews on that one which didn't look as pigmented and I just don't think I would be as happy with that palette as an everyday palette versus this one. So I'm so glad that I chose this one to get. And again, you guys, these, these right here, they look so chunky, but they are not chunky at all. They look chunky, but they're not. Look, they're these. That is gorgeous. Like, that is gorgeous. I Again, I am so glad that I got this palette. I am so glad that I got this palette. And I think this is going to be my new go-to, grab-to, more times than not during the week. We will soon see, but it blended seamlessly. If you saw my, if you watch how I created this in one of the parts where I started to do the first um, shade, the transition shade that I do first, I was like, I, I was amazed, set back for a second, like this just blended that easily. And it just, it just feels so creamy and blendable. And I just really love this palette. I really, really love this palette. And there's been so many palettes that I've bought before, like especially Too Faced or that, what is it, Anastasia, Anastasia, that I really don't care for. I don't grab those at all. I mean, I have them. I bought them because I thought they would be good, but they're more patchy. They don't blend as well. So it's something that I don't actually grab to use all the time, but this is going to be my new, this is going to be my new everyday. I can see it right now. This is just so gorgeous. I can't wait. All I did on here to get this look though, you guys, just so you know, I started with this very first color here, um, bare to put over everything. Then I went in with a secret to put in the top. I went in with Crave on my lid. Then I went in with a tease in the middle. And then I went in with, which one did I use? I think it was Raw or Love Bite, one of those two, because now I have prints in them from doing my swatches, so I can't tell which one I use for the far corner, but it was one of those two. But again, you guys, I really, really, really love this palette. So that is all I have. I have nothing else to say. This is an amazing palette. I love the way it blends. It's so creamy. It is just, it's, look at that. I mean, that is just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how much of these glitters that I'm going to use because just using these alone, I have a lot of glitter and shine that you can see throughout it. I don't know if it's gonna pick up as much on camera, but I do have a lot of glitter that has fallen down here and is all up in here from just this, these right here using this one. So I don't know how much of the glitter glitter back here that I'm actually going to use, but this is just a stunning palette. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. And I am so glad, even though I have other palettes that kind of resemble these colors, they don't compare to the way that these work, the way that these blend and the true pigment that these show. So, so far, especially me being able to use this all day, I wore this all day in the heat and the sun and all of that. So. I'm loving this Huda palette. And this is like my only Huda branded anything that I purchased. Now I ordered it from Sephora. So I got these little samples with my order, which I'm gonna try those out. One's Coors and one's Dr. Jart. And then it said that I can choose another one, which would have been a Bite, I think it's Bite Beauty sample. This is the smallest, cutest little lipstick that I have ever seen. So this is by Bite and it's in the color Chai. Um, and it actually, I haven't tried it on yet, but it looks really nice. So I think I'm going to actually, uh, let, me, let me actually try it on with this look. It might actually complement this, this look. Let's see. And I don't have anything from Bite. Is it Bite Beauty? I think that looks, I think that goes good. I don't know, but this is the cutest little thing. Look how tiny. It's not like you get a whole lot in there, but that is the cutest little sample of lipstick that I've ever received. So that is really, really cute. Yeah. I kind of like that. What do you guys think? 
maybe one that runs out if I end up wearing it and then like it then I'll grab the full size because I'm I don't have anything I don't believe from this brand bite and this one again is the chai I think it's chai but there you have it so thank you so much for tuning in if you want to see how I created this look then stay tuned Okay, you guys, so that is everything that I have for this particular review. Again, I absolutely love, 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 love this palette. Have you guys used this palette? Have you guys been interested in this palette? Comment down below, let me know. Me personally, I am so glad that I bite the bullet and I sprung and bought this palette. I try, especially with my big old PR set that I paid for um, of the Disney Collection Villains Collection. That was really, really expensive. I've never spent that much on makeup before in my life. So it was really hard for me to 
uh, bite down and say yes to a $65 palette but I did have a gift certificate that saved me a little bit of money. So that's why I'm really, really glad that I was able to get this and save some money in the process because this is normally a $65 palette. Would I have been comfortable spending 65? As now that I know the, how much I love this palette, I still would have been, but luckily I did have a, a gift certificate that did take some money off. So it did save me a little bit. So that i'm thankful for so again you guys thank you so much for tuning in comment down below let me know do you think this looks good do you have this do you want this let me know your thoughts about this palette you guys but my first impressions are i really 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 love this palette <laughs> so if you're not already go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you wouldn't miss a future video or giveaway that i will have on my channel i'd greatly appreciate that and until next time you know the drill keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and i'll see you on the next one bye